Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa Conrad. I am a doctor of physical therapy and therapeutic pain specialist, and I am the vagus nerve PT. This video is for informational purposes only, and as always, if you are considering starting a new treatment, please discuss it with your medical provider, preferably one with initials such as MD or DPT at the end of their name, not chat GPT. Today's video is going to be an introduction to what the vagus nerve is and how stimulating the vagus nerve can benefit your health. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in the body. It is one of our cranial nerves, the 10th cranial nerve. And the vagus nerve contains 75% of your parasympathetic nervous system's nerve fibers. Our autonomic nervous system is split into two branches, the sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight, and the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest. The sympathetic nervous system is all about survival. This is what we switch into when we're stressed or if we were being attacked by a lion. The parasympathetic nervous system is our calm place. That's where we connect with other people. That's where we learn best. That's where we sleep. That's where we heal. So stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system through the vagus nerve can be a very effective way to uh, shift your nervous system and um, create a, a, more, a greater sense of well-being. The vagus nerve regulates many systems in the body, including the heart rate, your blood pressure, your digestion, your mood your immune system responses, inflammation, and even satiation after eating. There are motor fibers of the vagus nerve that, trans that uh, go to the muscles of the larynx, pharynx, and soft palate. And then there are sensory fibers of the vagus nerve that take information from the skin, throat, lungs, and digestive tract up to the brain. So what is vagus nerve stimulation? Vagus nerve stimulation has actually been around for quite a long time. You can put electrical impulses directly into the vagus nerve, and this is accomplished typically through a surgical implant, surgically implanted device that looks similar to a pacemaker. They put it directly onto the vagus nerve, and it puts a consistent flow of electrical impulses into the vagus nerve. This is FDA approved for conditions including the uh, epilepsy, uh, treatment resistant depression, and stroke rehabilitation. These are the only uh, conditions that it is FDA approved for. In addition, there, is, there are many techniques uh, to stimulate the vagus nerve, such as massage, cold exposure. Many people have heard of the Wim Hof method, which includes lots of breathing techniques and cold exposure. Um, meditation and humming, all of these things will stimulate your vagus nerve and can be very effective when done very consistently. In addition, we can do what's called transcutaneous uh, vagus nerve stimulation, which means through the skin. Um, there are uh, devices you can purchase uh, specifically for this, or you can use a TENS unit, which is the way that I typically stimulate the vagus nerve. And I have TENS unit kits available for purchase on my website, carissaconradpt.com, should you be interested. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.